Sarah Holloway. And I have been a special Olympic cover athlete for almost 40 years. I have competed in just about every sport, but swimming and unified golf are my favorites. Today, I own a farm on 37 acres where I live independently, have a full time job, great friends, and I'm happy. However, my path to happiness and self acceptance has not been easy. I was born in 1960, nine years before SOCO was founded, at a time when people with intellectual disabilities were treated like we had some sort of disease. People were afraid as they would stay away. I was told that I would never amount to much, live independently, or keep a job. I was placed in a group home, which was a sad and lonely place. They would prescribe me so much medicine, even though I didn't need it. What I needed was someone to care. In school, the kids made fun of me, and the teachers gave up on me. I walked the halls alone with my eyes looking down to avoid making eye contact and hoping that I could avoid being bullied. In fifth grade, I met my first and only friend, Shannon. Shannon kept inviting me to come to Special Olympics swim practice. I finally joined her and my life was forever changed. Swimming was the best part of my week and the only thing I looked forward to. Special Olympics gave me hope and a reason to keep going when I previously had none. Finally, I had gained enough confidence to flush my meds and leave the group home, even though I had nowhere to go, which was a scary thing to do. I wanted a job so badly, but people, but no one would hire me. I went to a job placement service applied to every golf course in Denver, and not only would they not hire me, they wouldn't even listen to me. I couldn't even get a lawnmower job. But I told myself, if you want something bad enough, keep trying. That is what I learned from Special Olympics. Keep trying, because it's going to be okay. I finally got my job at Safeway. I did a second job at United Airlines. I worked nights at Safeway, and days at United, and did special Olympics every other minute I could. The dedication I gained through special Olympics transferred to work, where I was a loyal Safeway employee for 25 years. I still work for United after 19 years. Besides the life I can be proud of, I have gained much more from Special Olympics. Leadership, confidence, the opportunity to advocate for myself and my fellow athletes, I thank you. I no longer feel alone because I'm not alone. Over the years, I have earned more than 100 different medals, all of which I treasure. But the most important things I have received from Special Olympics are pride, Self -worth. In 2003, I was asked to write an essay about my vision for people with intellectual disabilities. The first part of my vision was for kids of all abilities to be able to learn together in school. My vision has become reality through the Unified Schools Program, which is now making schools a welcoming place for students like Micah and so many more. The second part of my vision was for individuals with intellectual disabilities to have earned the right to work in any career they choose and be accepted as people that can do the same thing as anyone else. I stand here before you today as one of those individuals. I am living proof that over 50 years, progress has been made and change is happening. I'm also here to tell you that we still have a long way to go. There are still times where people are uncomfortable around us. I still get asked all the time where I'm from because people think I have an accent. 
no one is trying to be me, but it's hard for me to say, I talk this way because I didn't have enough oxygen when I was born. So instead I said, it's just me. <laughs> People still make assumptions about what us athletes can or cannot do. But we can do it all. We, we may do it in a different way and may not look as pretty or be as fast, but we can do it. Every person in the world wants the same things, to have friends, to be seen, heard, and loved. To everyone here and to those who have supported Special Olympics athletes as a volunteer, coach, donor, or fan, we say thank you. You have been our friends, and you not only see us, but you hear us. Thank you for helping me find my voice and giving me the confidence to hold my head high, look in the mirror, and be proud of who I see staring back at me. My dream for the next 50 years of Special Olympics is to grow and expand our movement faster because it's important and makes a difference in everyone's life. Thank you.